In this question, we're told that the density of apple juice is 1.05 grams per centimetre cubed. We're told that the density of fruit syrup is 1.4 grams per centimetre cubed, and that the density of carbonated water is 0.99 grams per centimetre cubed. We're told that 25 centimetre cubed of apple juice is mixed with 15 centimetre cubed of fruit syrup and 280 centimetre cubed of carbonated water to make a drink with a total volume of 320 centimetre cubed. Now we need to find out the density of the drink, giving our answer correct to two decimal places. Now before we continue, the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we know the formula for density. And density is given by the mass divided by its volume. Now we can start by finding the total mass of the drink. And we can do this by finding the mass of the apple juice in the drink, added with the mass of the fruit syrup in the drink, and added with the mass of the carbonated water in the drink. We're told that the density of apple juice is 1.05 grams per centimetre cubed. And now this means that for every 1.05 grams of apple juice, its volume is 1 centimetre cubed. Now we're told that 25 centimetre cubed of apple juice is in the drink. And so to get from 1 to 25, we have to multiply by 25. And so we can also do this on the other side to find the mass of apple juice in the drink. 1.05 multiplied by 25 will give 26.25 grams. And so we've found that there are 26.25 grams of apple juice in the drink. Now let's move on to finding the mass of fruit syrup in the drink. Since the density of fruit syrup is 1.4 grams per centimetre cubed, we know that for every 1.4 grams of fruit syrup, it has a volume of 1 centimetre cubed. Now the drink has 15 centimetre cubed of fruit syrup, and so to get from 1 to 15, we have to multiply by 15, and we can do the same on the other side. And 1.4 multiplied by 15 will give 21 grams of fruit syrup. And finally, we can move on to finding the mass of carbonated water in the drink. Since the density of carbonated water is 0.99 grams per centimetre cubed, we know that for every 0.99 grams of carbonated water, it has a volume of 1 centimetre cubed. And now the drink contains 280 centimetre cubed of carbonated water. And so we can multiply both sides by 280. And so 0 0.99 multiplied by 280 gives 277.2 grams of carbonated water. Now that we've found the mass of the apple juice, the mass of the fruit syrup, and the mass of the carbonated water, we can find the total mass of the drink. And so we can say that the total mass of drink is 26.25 plus 21 plus 277.2, which will give us an answer of 324.45 grams. Now the question asks us to work out the density of the drink, and we're also told that the total volume of the drink is 320 centimetre cubed. And so now that we've found the mass, and we're given the volume, we can use these pieces of information to find the density. We know that density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. And so in this scenario, we found out that the mass is 324.45, and we're told that the volume is 320 centimetre cubed. And so the mass divided by volume is 324.45 divided by 320, which is equal to 1.013906 dot dot dot, and rounded to two decimal places is 1.01 grams per centimetre cubed. Now this question is worth four marks. So let's take a look at where these marks are allocated. The first mark will be for finding the mass of the apple juice and the fruit syrup and the carbonated water. And so we found that the mass of the apple juice is 26.25 grams, the fruit syrup is 21 grams, and the carbonated water is 277.2 grams. And so finding these masses give us our first mark. Now the second mark is for finding the total mass of the drink by adding these values together and for getting an answer of 324.45 grams. Now the third mark is for a process to find the density of the drink by doing 324.45 divided by 320. And that fourth and final mark is for getting the correct answer of 1.01 grams per centimetre cubed, rounded correctly to two decimal places.